Ron Acuna Jr., an MVP, a World Series champion, and overall one of the best players in baseball. But somebody's trying to sabotage him because right now he is the shortest player in baseball. Standing at five foot one, he is a complete shell of what he used to be. And the only way that we can improve Ron Acuna Jr.'s height is by completing the challenges behind these boxes. And every challenge that we complete will end up being a height upgrade for Ronald, with the end goal of him becoming the tallest player ever to win a World Series. Challenge one, what do we got? It's hit a no doubt home run. I'd be fine with that, but a 5-1, how the heck are we gonna do that? He's legit the height of a fifth grader. How are we gonna hit a home run in an MLB ballpark? Especially against Zach Wheeler. And oh my God, this dude is chunky. Look at him. Dude, you're not real. What is this? Look how tiny his entire strike zone is. Look how small the bat is too, dude. I was using that bat in T-ball, I swear to God. All right, come on. We gotta hit the no doubt home run and that's not a good start. This is gonna be way harder than I thought. Yo, look at him in the field. Oh, there's no way. Look at him run. What is happening? Top of the fourth though, we gotta lock in and we gotta get our pitch. For Zach Wheeler, it's not gonna be easy. That was it right there. Oh my goodness. Top of the sixth and dude, I don't need the shadow working against me too. Please tell me we can see this ball coming in. And oh my God, it's not great, but please. That's not a no doubt home run, and that's going straight out to right field. Not a good start, guys. Top of the eighth, we got another opportunity. And there it goes. This is way harder than it looks. In game one, we were definitely not ready for that. Luckily though, for every single challenge, we got two games. Meaning now, all of the pressure is on for us to get this height upgrade. But now that I know actually what to expect, I feel a lot better. Game two left on the mound this time. Ronald, I need all of the power out of your small little body you can muster. Because we have to get this no doubt home run right here. Oh my gosh, Ronald, there we go. The short king did it, baby. Look at him run around the bases still. I don't care if it only went three. 91. It's a no doubter. Let's go. The bat flip was perfect. And wow, he got up there. Let's go, Ronald. Let's get you that height upgrade, my boy. And with that challenge complete, Ronald Acuna Jr. goes from 5'1 all the way up to 5'6. My boy's officially tied with Jose Altuve in height. What the heck, Ronald? I can't believe this is real life. But let's go. Number two, what's the challenge? Make a diving catch this is gonna get even harder somehow i got a horrible feeling about this one and that's just on the ground that's not even gonna give us a chance to make a dive and play corbin carroll you can send the ball out here so please do it don't you dare put this on the ground just give me something i can make a play on and of course it's on the ground why do you do this to me corbin at least we're gonna throw out the runner on an absolute line right there but hey it's not good enough because that's not the challenge unfortunately in game one of the series we didn't even get a shot to make a dive and play and now it all comes down to game two. I really don't ask for much, but please let me make a dive and play here. Get tell Marte, just please get this thing up in the air. That's all I care about. And of course, it's another line drive. Why do you do this to me? Will it kill you guys to elevate this stupid ball? Come on, Jock Peterson. There we go. There we go. Where am I running to? Oh, right there, please. Please, please. Oh, no. I need a ball in front of me. That's the only way this is going to work. Keep the ball in the air and keep the ball in front of me. And that's, oh my gosh. Should I just be playing on the infield dirt right there? It feels like the only way I'm going to make a dive and play. Top of the ninth, literally our last opportunity. Jack Peterson, please just do me a favor here. And it's on the ground, dude. I hate this team. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I love you. One more opportunity. Lourdes Gurriel Jr., please. I will love you forever if you let me make this dive and play on you. Please, for the love of everything. Oh my gosh. Off the wall. Just give me one more attempt. One more. That's not what I'm talking about, but we're hitting. No! No way we already get cooked in the second challenge. And unfortunately for Ronald, he's going to be staying at Jose Altuve height for just a little bit longer. Challenge three, steal from first to third. That one I feel like we can do. I mean, the real life Ronald Acuna got 70 stolen bases last year. If we can't do this when we're even closer to the ground, I don't know what the heck we're doing wrong. And coming into game three, we got a battle of the short kings down here in Houston. There's no way we're actually going against Jose Altuve's team. Are you kidding me? I see the little guy over there too. Look at him. We got to get on base here. And oh my gosh, this should be it. But no, I didn't even realize there's a guy in front of us. The guy at second base has got to get out somehow. Or we just don't even get an attempt because both the guys strike out. Fair play to be honest. Let's go for the next one. Here we go again. And there's a guy on first base. Why does it? Okay. All right. I contact swung around. I couldn't still hit it out of here. Five, six might actually be the play. But guys, stop getting on base from me i swear like i appreciate it but stop it here we are finally our opportunity nobody on base all we got to do is just hit a single and we just contact 
swing. All right. We got way too much power, apparently. Contact swings are supposed to be on the ground, my boy. What are we doing? Here we are again, and that's going to a gap, actually. I'm just going to stop at first. Y Jordan, why? Why are you doing this to me, guys? Why? I thought for sure that was a gap shot. And all of a sudden, Jordan just turns out to be a fielding god and makes that catch. Are you kidding me? And that's it for game one. Guys, we got to stop this garbage. Coming to game two, we only had one thing on our mind, and that was getting on base with nobody else on. There we go. Come on. That's it right there. That's exactly what we needed to start game two. Now we got to steal. Come on. Let's watch these feet. Watch these feet. Watch these feet. Watch the feet. Go. He sidestepped me too. No shot. I hate this Braves team with a burning passion. I finally get on base with nobody on. And they still ruined it somehow. And now we got two guys on the next at bat. Why is this team doing this to me? Come on. There we go. At least we're on first. And it's a 3-2 count, so it's not even going to matter. The stolen base isn't even going to matter. Oh, my God. Oh, another opportunity. That is another opportunity. I love that. Now, Matt Olsen, I swear if you put this ball in play. And it's a 3-0 count. We just have to steal. All right, we got to do our business. We got to do our stuff, baby. We got to do our stuff. <laughs> one more opportunity top of the ninth two outs though we're gonna need a miracle to steal from first all the way to third but please let it happen first get on base that's a perfect perfect i swear if that's a home run okay that's all hey hey you know what that's off the wall that's at least one opportunity now matt olsen don't you dare swing the bat let me get to let me get to why are we still here just to suffer at this point, get us off this team. Next challenge, hit a single. Finally, the boxes can be something nice. Ronald, all we have to do is hit a single, okay? That's it. So just come on, right there, right there. Let it be, let it be, let it be. Oh my gosh, beautiful, baby, beautiful. Oh, I could freaking cry, dude. We're finally getting another height upgrade. And after that challenge completed, Ronald Acuna Jr. goes from 5'6 to 5'11. Let's be honest though, if you ask him, he's gonna be six foot. Next challenge, we got win the home run derby. There's a very good chance that we can win this one, especially now that we're back towards the normal height. Here we go, home run derby. And of course, we're the eighth seed, automatically getting thrown to the fire. Let's put an absolute clinic on real quick. And I'm not gonna lie, I could not have asked for a better start to this home run derby. Give me one more. That's gotta be it. Hey, not a bad first round. 24 home runs. I'd say we put on an absolute clinic. Now we're facing Shohei Otani though. So again, it's still not gonna be easy. And honestly, I don't know if I should be more scared of Corey Seager or Shohei Otani. I feel like Shohei's way better 23 is the best we could do for round two hopefully Shohei's not too much of a robot Shohei please don't you dare beat us let's see what we got thank goodness way too close but we did it on to the finals now let's see what we're facing who do we got and it's J-Rod hey all right come on one more round and we get our height upgrade hey I think Ronald wants that height upgrade baby because again 24 home runs J-Rod let's see what you can do J-Rod needs 25 to win this can we just call it here J-Rod's got 12 right now and there's 12 seconds left five four three two one ronald you just got a little bit taller baby nice little home run derby trophy in the bag i don't mind it let's go ronald let's get you the height upgrade and after that home run derby we get our height upgrade going from 5 11 to 6 foot 5 even from this view my boy's got to get in the nba immediately next challenge hit two home runs that's actually not bad coming off the home run derby i hope we better hit two ronald oh my gosh dude i'm feeling like aaron judge out here i feel like the power better be here if we're six foot five we should be able to smack this thing easily i'm power swinging two plus we're on a three out give me the meatball and that's not bad but that's going out to center field okay hey we didn't miss the pci either that's just unfortunate there we go that's a perfect perfect i swear if that's not a home run that's gotta be it there we are that's one all we need is one more and if we get one more that will get us the upgrade to become the tallest player in baseball history oh first lance lynn the guy that gave it the most amount of home runs last year you can't give me Lance Lynn as he actually jammed us up. Oh my gosh. Give me Lance one more time. And there he is. There's Lance Lynn, please. No, that's down the line. Come on. And we got the City Connects on. All right, we're feeling good. We might need the power swing. Come on. That's got to be it. 107 off the bat. If that's not it, I don't know what we're doing wrong. And there we go, Ronald. With those two home runs done and the challenge completed, we now go from six foot five to a gigantic six foot ten. Somebody signed my boy as a center. What are we doing? And now 
now that we've become the tallest player in baseball history, we just got one more goal. We got to become the tallest player in baseball history to win a World Series championship. Let's get to the postseason. Let's get this thing going. And the Braves finish off a record-breaking season at 108 and 54. And facing us in the NLDS, we got the Phillies coming in. But obviously, we had to get revenge as we take them 3 nothing, And we sweep straight into the championship series versus the Dodgers. And since nothing's ever easy with this team, we're going to Game 7 versus the Dodgers. Two absolute powerhouses in the NL. And my gosh, who the heck is this slender man? Ronald, you do- Oh my gosh! You absolute stick. What is this? We gotta get our team to this World Series, though. I mean, maybe the Dodgers will just be too scared to pitch to me, to be honest. I mean, look how weird we look as we almost take off Tyler's head. It would make sense based off how Ronald's looking right now. All right, Ronald, enough of this garbage. We gotta clutch up. We gotta stop these Dodgers from actually trying to win this thing. Let's go. That's a nice little double bringing us two guys in scoring position. And now Austin Riley. There we go, baby. Three run home run, potentially sending us to the World Series. A full count, you know Max Muncy wants to swing. Come on, get him. Blue. That's right on the line. Come on, you can't be doing this to me. Ump is for sure betting on the game, but there we go. World Series been with the six foot 10 psychopath, Ron Acuna Jr. One step closer to getting in those history books. And of course, out of all teams in the World Series, we're facing the Rays. And as much as it pains me, we had to absolutely stomp on them. Going into game four, looking for a sweep in the World Series. All we have to do is beat up on Zach Eflin, and this World Series is going to be ours. And we got to try to hit nice in Tropicana Field. We got to do it. Also, look how big our stupid PCI is just because of how tall we are. Like, it's actually so dumb as we drive that thing to right field. Is that gonna have to pop? No, it's not. Wow. Yo, for 6'10", I was expecting to drive the ball a little bit more. And no shot, they've come back. All right, Ronald, this is where we lock in. That's a nice little single. We get on for the rest of the team, no out. And we gotta try to steal. I mean, bro, all we gotta do is take like three steps from right second base. Let's see what we got. And we got gunned. And we take the loss. Dude, we got gunned? 70 stolen bases and we got destroyed by the Rays catcher. What type of game are we playing here? Back Hit it again though for Shane McClanahan. This has got to be the game right here, Ronald. Come on. You sickly looking dude. I need another World Series ring for you. Come on. Oh my gosh, that was driven. That was absolutely driven to center field. And that's a home run. Nice little World Series home run for the tallest player to ever play in it. An absolute demon out here. Top eight now, and we need the insurance. We got to guarantee the win. And there we go. Watch it fly, baby. That might be the World Series right there. 462 for the six foot 10 god right there. Let's go, Ronald. Give us that World Series. Dude, the guy just towers over everybody, too. It's so insane to watch. Tell me we got it, baby. Top of the ninth. All right. Hey, we'll go again. I do not mind at all as that's... Okay, yeah, we got jammed on that one. That's unfortunate. But hey, 5 nothing. that should be it. Show me the win, and there we go! Not only did we go from the shortest player in baseball history to the tallest in one season, we also got another World Series ring, and we became the tallest player to do so. And with the World Series win, we helped the Braves cement their dynasty in baseball. Let's go, team! That's what I'm talking about. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like on it and subscribe down below. Comment down below if you guys want to see more of these, and check out this video right here because you're going to love it. Be sure to click on it. I'll see you guys over there.